Hey guys, once upon a time, American luxury was about leather and horsepower and size, but that definition is changing. And to prove that point, I am here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the very first Lincoln Boutique. That's right. Today, luxury is more about the experience of owning a luxury vehicle and not about everything that's in it. But nevertheless, in this video, we're going to go inside the boutique and we're going to show you the newly refreshed 2022 Navigator. And you're going to see exactly what Lincoln thinks American luxury is all about. So come on, join me and let's check out the new car. If you guys have been to any of your local malls, you'll know that now Lucid is selling cars in this way, so is Tesla. And modern luxury is now refined and defined by not just the buying experience, but by, well, basically a mix of a Starbucks and a boutique. And this is what today's shoppers, especially luxury shoppers, are looking for. But you and me know it's still really about the vehicle. So let's take an up close and personal look at the new refreshed 2022 Lincoln Navigator. Now this is one of the top of the line models. It's a black label, which Lincoln has had in the past, uh, with the Manhattan green color, which is new for 2022 with the Central Park theme. Now that's a mouthful, but I will show you what all that means in a second. And if you're a keen observer of Navigators, you'll note that for 2022, there are new headlights, uh, there are new taillights, and of course, there are new wheels. In fact, there are five new wheel tire combinations with four of those being 22s. Of course, luxury isn't about numbers, but you and I are about numbers, so let's talk about three numbers. This Navigator is powered by a 3.5 liter twin turbo that puts out 440 horsepower and 510 pound-foot of torque. And of course, it is mated to Ford's 10-speed automatic transmission. And if configured properly, it will tow 8,700 pounds. And there's one more number I wanna show you, so come with me. 1,574 pounds. That's the payload, uh, which is quite a bit because uh, this vehicle can be had in either a seven or eight seat configuration, which means that it's pretty, pretty big, as Larry David would say. Now, one of the things about three row SUVs, of course, is that unless they're like excursion size, there's not a lot of room behind the third row. So let's find out how much room is behind the third row. I'll be as surprised as you will. Eh, that's about right, you know. Like I say it's not quite excursion sized, but a couple of shopping bags, maybe a couple of uh, roller bags if you're going to the airport will certainly fit. And of course, luxury means electrification, not in terms of the powertrain, but of course in terms of the seats. So let's drop the third row. Look at that. Easy peasy. One button and the third row now transforms into a much more luxurious space. Well, maybe not luxurious, but certainly roomier. Now, as you can tell, one of the things that Lincoln went for was effortless power and of course, serenity. And once we're inside the Navigator, all that outside noise, the coffee machine, all that just fades into the distance so that you are in a very serene environment that is just swathed in traditional American luxury with things like, you know, leather everywhere, real wood everywhere. And perhaps the most interesting part is, remember I said this has a Central Park theme. And if you look here, uh, Lincoln says that this is their first attempt first in class laser etching of a map into real wood so this is central park or at least the map of central park you'll also find it uh right there uh, and it's actually really cool i suspect that's probably the park and you know i'm not that familiar with new york but you can see uh, how they have incorporated a map of the city and that's really cool now some of the more traditional things uh, you'll note that this has a push button transmission so park reverse neutral drive uh, we still have real buttons for things like the hvac which i love and of course thank you lincoln this is expressing my old madness but i do love the volume knob and i do love the tuning knob even though you know they are a little bit chromey <laughs> for my liking now of course lincoln builds 
some of the uh, most, um, how should I say this, uh, customizable seats in the business. And these seats are certainly incredibly comfortable once you get them to your body type. And there are profiles in this car that allow you to store up to 80 different configurations based on your personal needs. And that of course includes the seats, the steering wheel, your favorite radio stations, um, 80 different variables that you can make your own. So let's uh, boot it up. Ah, uh, that chime. Does that say luxury to you? It certainly does. You know, if that were the typical Ford chime, you'd probably be thinking Focus or Explorer, but now you're thinking Navigator. Uh, now we do have uh, Ford's latest Sync 4 here. Uh, which provides you with ample screen. If you've ever driven any of the recent Fords, you'll be very familiar with this. Uh, so of course, navigation is standard. You can tell we're in Scottsdale. Uh, we have things like apps, uh, which allow, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And in the back seat, we actually have uh, Amazon's Fire TV for the kiddos, and we'll get into that in a second. Uh, overall, the seating position is very American luxury. Big old sunroof big old headrest. This is a very big American car and I'm a fan of big American cars. I think that uh, at least in America we have lost the luxury battle when it comes to sedans to maybe the Germans and maybe the Japanese but trucks uh, and truck based SUVs I think we still uh, are the best at and this is no exception. Now in terms of all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive there are all kinds of different configurations you'll note that there's no button here for two high four low uh, four high four auto all that is available uh, and it's available right here by the drive mode selector so depending on the different drive modes that you select effortless and balanced that's probably four high uh, the car will shift into different modes so normal is four by four auto um, keep switching here slippery i'm sure is also four by four uh, deep conditions basically depending on the mode you choose the car will choose the different drive modes uh, that you need or want now you may be wondering how much this black label variant of the navigator cost and i will let you know at the end of this video let's hop into the back seats and show you everything that's back there all right second row let's take a walk through the second row lincoln will tell you that this is the uh, very first in-class vehicle to have back row massaging seats and they're available right there so massaging seats and then you can pick left or right and then there are different types of massages so let me hit massage on and then you can have relaxed recovery or full recovery or circular cushion or upper rolling or lower rolling and believe me my butt is getting a lower rolling <laughs> <laughs> that almost sounds naughty, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let me turn that off. Let me go back to the home feature here. Uh, and then, of course, you have heated and cooled seats in both the front and second row. You've got climate controls here, so you can control your own climate, which is nice. Uh, and if you want, you also have audio controls uh, for both uh, left and right uh, on this back seat. Uh, and then, perhaps most interesting for the kiddos, uh, you've got... Uh, fire tv from amazon so i can fire up youtube netflix prime sling hbo max any of those subscription services uh, that you may have at home you can now independently control in the back seat for the kiddos uh, the cool thing is you get 30-day free trial it's 4g and i was playing with it watching some of our off-road videos on the way out here and it works really well as i am um, not 6 or 12 much older than that and much taller than that you'll note that my head is hitting the ceiling uh, and my knees are hitting the the front a little bit and of course this is all the way back so while this is a big vehicle uh, the second row even when configured in this uh, captain's chair two plus two front and back uh, is a little bit on the tighter side you can get this as a bench row or you can get a pass through here uh, you can basically configure this as a seven or an eight passenger vehicle depending on how uh, your family is configured. So uh, let's go and try the rear. Look, with the magic of video, I'm no longer sitting in the second row, but now I'm gonna try to get into the third row. So there's a button right here you push, releases the back seat, it folds forward. This is the same as it used to be. And then you can come back here, let me close the door again. And let's see how much room there is 
for me, that's good. You know, actually there's probably a little bit more room back here in some ways uh, than there is uh, in the second row. If I were 12 years old, I think I'd be uh, happy as a clam back here. It's kind of uh, fort-like. I've got some notes here from the product presentation, and let me give you those just in case you're curious. These are pretty random things, but nevertheless, uh, interesting. So they switch to an electronic brake booster, giving it, I guess, better fuel economy. Uh, you can get trailer reverse guidance, and if you're familiar with Ford, it basically allows you to control the steering wheel through a little knob, uh, so that if you're towing a boat or a camper, it's easier to back up. 28 speakers, uh, and my favorite, phone as a key is standard, which is pretty darn cool now you can get uh, electronic slip optional on the uh, black label which this one is uh, there's also a low speed transfer case that is also optional it comes with the heavy duty towing package and like i said this bad boy will tow 8700 pounds if configured correctly so how much does all this goodness cost well let's get out of the fort and talk about it in front of the vehicle now, of course, for the most important question, you may be wondering how much does all of this luxury, American luxury cost? Well, I suspect the coffee is free, uh, but the car starts at about 77,000. This one is north of 100, and if you get all the bells and whistles, well, then it's about 115 or north of that. Now, we will be doing a complete drive and maybe even towing, but that's coming up a little bit later. So for now, here's your first look at the brand new and refreshed 2022 Lincoln Navigator. See you next time. Ciao. You know what? I'm gonna get some coffee. Forget it. I'm going this way. Coffee.